I know, the title of this video is a little dramatic because I don't ever, like it doesn't feel right for me to say that I hate a book, but there are definitely some books that I didn't vibe with. I always defend my favorite book against people who don't like it. I always say there's a book for everyone. You know, just because you didn't like it doesn't mean that I won't like it and that reading is subjective and that somewhere along your reading journey you're going to come across a book that you just don't like. Too long ago I did a video reading my five star reads one star reviews on Goodreads and today I'm going to be reading books that I have rated one to two stars maybe two and a half on some of them I'm going to be reading the five star reviews on these books because I want to see what it will make me feel like maybe I'll come around maybe I'll be like okay that's a good point but most of these I feel pretty strongly about I'm scared to tell you the title of some of these books, although I definitely put them in the thumbnail and you're like, maybe you gasped when you saw the thumbnail. A lot of these books are actually popular book talk books and just because I didn't like them does not mean that there's anything wrong with them. That doesn't mean that I don't think you should read it. That doesn't mean that it doesn't deserve the hype. It's just I couldn't get into it. This is the part where I tell you that yes, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is a DNF for me. This is a popular book talk book. It's not something that I particularly enjoyed when I was reading it, but I am doing this new series on TikTok where I am rereading DNFs. So this is on the list, but according to Goodreads, oh, oh my god, this book has so many ratings. Oh my god, Taylor Jenkins Reid is a millionaire. This book has over 3 million ratings on Goodreads. Oh my god. So overall, it has a 4.42 star ratings on Goodreads with 1,748,953 five star reviews with only 22,292 one star reviews. <laughs> one star ratings is less than 1%. So I guess I am in the small, small majority and that's okay. Wait, will this spoil the plot for me? <laughs> oh, this is so sweet. Someone said this right here. This is why I read for the joy and privilege of coming across an exquisite story like this and being swept up in its magic. I guess my book didn't get that magic dust on it. This is genuinely one of the most remarkable novels I have ever read. It is my favorite of the year. It will be my favorite of all time. I am wholly enchanted by the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I will never forget how much I adore this book. Oh my god! I think I needed to give it another shot. For her Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I made it a little bit past halfway. And the reason why I DNF'd it is just because I felt like it, like I just wasn't connected to any of the characters and I just didn't care. Maybe I just read it at the wrong time. Right book, wrong time sort of thing. Oh my god, someone said not to be dramatic, but if there ever comes a point in time where the fate of human civilization is coming to an end and we need to create a time capsule to immortalize our per <sighs> jump scare, big words, to immortalize our prosperity. This book better be in it. There has never been a more honest and enthralling book in the history of the world ever. Jessica! That is a big ass statement, but that comment has 926 likes. You know what? I'm gonna read you good seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Let's move on to our next book, which is going to be Bride by Ali Hazelwood. If you've been on Book Talk recently within the past What's that? March, March, February, March, February, February, March. Yeah, on it, this year has turned into one big Groundhog's Day. So I can't say for sure which month Bride was pretty popular on TikTok, but I did try to read it. And uh, I don't know what happened. I could not get into it. Okay, you don't, you love it. I want you to love it. I want someone, people, you love it. I just, I don't know how many, I, I don't know why I feel like I have to defend myself every time I say I don't like it. The overall rating on Goodreads is a 4.11 and there are 68,369 five-star reviews 
with only a thousand six hundred and twenty five one star reviews again the one star reviews are less than one percent what is wrong with me i don't know oh my god this review is so cute someone said ali hazelwood said sit back and let me cook for you and then served this ingredients 150 what is gr grams Ingredients, 150 grams of He Falls First, 260 grams of Faded Mates, one cup of Found Family, one cup of Enemies to Lovers, one tablespoon of Adorable Kid, and 1.5 tablespoons of Male Point of View. That is such a cute review. I want to feel that way. Someone said, look, I'm a sucker for a paranormal romance. What can I say? I do love paranormal romances when we're talking about fantasies, like vampires, werewolves. If we're talking about like paranormal mm, romance, not me, not a fan. I think my favorite part of this romance was the recognition that Lo and Misery are fundamentally very different people. And rather than dismissing the significance of those differences, they worked very conscientiously I know the word. I do. I just always have trouble saying it when I'm reading it. It like doesn't click to translate to mouth. They worked very conscious. Conscience. They worked very consciously. <laughs> I was reading so good and then I just all fell to bits. But I understand what you're saying. And that, that, was, that is cute. Damn. The only thing this is doing is making me want to read these books right now. And my TBR is like, you better not. You better not. You, listen, we have been staring at you for how long? Months, woman. And if you pick up a book that made you want to throw it across the room, put it in the bonfire before you pick up me, we're gonna fight. Okay. You cannot convince me that this wasn't a Twilight fan fiction, and I rewatch Twilight at least once a week, so you already know I love this book. Interesting. Want to know a secret? I've never read Twilight. <gasps> I've seen the movies, so that has to count for something. And I'll tell you that the way the movies make me feel, I kind of want to read the books, but is it too late to read the books? Like if I missed that bandwagon and now I'm like in my mid twenties, but I kind of want to because I love Twilight. I will tell you something. The next two books are really going to make me feel something because before the first three books, I those were DNFs, I haven't finished those. The next two books, I have in fact finished. And I do strongly feel the way I feel about them. And the first book we are going to be reading the reviews for, I've never been quite honest about how it makes me feel. I've never vocalized it to the whole internet before. My sister sure has gotten an earful about how I felt about this book because we read the series together. Third book in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, A Curse for True Love. <laughs> it's the third and final book in the series. This was it for us. I I feel like I'm trying to spit it out. It just, my brain is like, don't you dare say it out loud. <laughs> it's like I need to hide. I didn't like this book and I'm actually quite disappointed in it. I am. I, I just, The Ballad of Never After was so damn good. The tension, the storyline, the build up, the cliffhanger, everything was perfect. And then of course, True Love comes out and I'm so excited for it. I can't wait to read it. And it just missed the mark for me. I'll reframe from ranting about it any longer and we'll read the five star ratings. I need to know why people have given this book five stars. Maybe that will give me closure and make me feel better. The overall rating on Goodreads is a 4.12 with 59,253 five star ratings with only 1,118 one star ratings which is less than 1%. Why? Why? What is wrong with me? Do not debate. We're not debating. We're just reading. We're listening to other people's opinions. They're valid in their opinions. They are allowed to have their opinions no matter how oh, wrong. A perfect ending. Oh, I so wholeheartedly disagree. But this isn't about me. In my heart, the whole series gets infinity stars. Not, but, not, 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 not,
Not many books make me cry, and this one did that. In the beginning, I didn't really like how we got so many Apollo chapters and not that many Jacks. I just wish we got more of him. Also, the ending left me with a lot of questions. One in particular, why was he eating the apples? Oh, don't even get me fucking started. Why was he eating the apples? Okay, listen, I know, I know what people have said, but this really, this really gets me going. I've even closed the computer and we're going to have a, a discussion about this. I understand leaving things in the plot line to be open for interpretation. I get that. 100%. Not with something so monumental to the plot. Every time, or damn near every time we see Jax, he's eating an apple. And there was even moments in The Ballad of Never After, Jax and another character were talking about, you're gonna need to eat a lot of apples for this. And he was like, I know. It was never said explicitly in the text why he needed to eat apples. Stephanie Garber addressed this overwhelming question that everyone had because it was never addressed in the, the text and she said, Oh, I thought everyone knew. I thought you could just figure it out. <laughs> That's like the equivalent, I feel like if one of the characters is in a prison cell and they're like trying to escape the prison cell and the next chapter you see them, they've escaped the prison cell and it's never addressed in the plot line and you're like, how the hell did you get out of the jail? And the author's like, oh, 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 you can figure that out. No, you, you come back here, Missy, and you tell me, you tell me, you wrote this story, you delivered this story to me, and you're gonna give me every detail about it before you leave. Please. A lot of the five-star reviews for A Curse of True Love is, of course, you know, happy for Eva and Jax, as I am too. I'm really happy for them. I'm happy that they're together. I'm just sad we didn't get more from them in this whole damn book. I'm just gonna shut up about it and move on to the next book, but it probably won't be any better because the last book is Credence by Penelope Douglas. Now, I recently reread this book. It was um, a DNF for me for a while, but I'm rereading my DNFs, and so I decided to start with Credence. I didn't feel any better when I finished it. Oh, I've already posted a lot of content about how I feel about Credence, so I will refrain from regurgitating everything that I've already said and stop boring you to death and tell you that the Goodreads overall rating for Credence is a 3.69. <laughs> thousand two hundred and sixteen five star reviews but twenty one thousand six hundred and twenty one star reviews which is seven percent i don't know why i'm clapping all the other ones they were less than one percent overall rating but this one is seven percent it is a taboo romance that's not for everyone to be fair people love this book and i love that you love it <laughs> listen i don't know if i'm really fucked in the head but i love this book i devoured it <laughs> wow there have been so many differing opinions with this book but in the end i loved it i was like an addict flipping through the pages while trying to disconnect from humanity purely to remain absorbed in this fuckery high up in the mountains of colorado I didn't know what to expect when I agreed to read this, but boy, it was more than I dared hope. <laughs> the way that every review is like, yeah, I like this book. Does, Does that mean that there's something wrong with me? The next review says, is it fucked up to say that I actually enjoyed this book? Morally, it was fucked. But that's what made it intriguing and captivating. <laughs> It's a book about forbidden love and trauma, and I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. I mean, I love that for you. Do I feel like a changed woman? Yeah, I mean, I do, there are now some books that I do want to reread to see if I can vibe with them the same way other people did. Specifically, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Bride by Ollie Hazelwood. Well, anyway, that's all I have for this video today. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're laundry is up to date and you know your clothes are out of the dryer fold it and put it away because that's 
the worst part of doing laundry and I know you are on your shit. Anyway, that's all. Bye, love you.